Well, I'll tell you what, we've talked a lot about how all of our players are finding new roles, but I thought tonight they really embraced that. Taylor Williams really embraced needing to be a double-digit scorer. I thought Shane Creighton really embraced having to be our go-to post player. Um, I thought Bria Elmore on the court was, um, you know, that junior, senior point guard that you really want. But then we also had great contributions. We finally had Bria Elmore healthy coming off the bench, having a big run in the second half. Our defense was solid. We changed defenses a lot. I thought our team had a great awareness for the most part of what defense we were in, and I think that I think that really um, affected how uh, Missouri State could execute. Um, talk about then the performance of Taylor Barnes as a freshman. <laughs> you know, she played a lot of minutes and played really solid. She did. She did, and I'm going to tease her because freshman point guards, you know, drive you mad because they don't know enough yet to know everything about your system, but the kid is not afraid. And that's something that's that's really critical. She's not afraid to mis make mistakes. She, she makes active mistakes. She did a great job late in the game of getting her feet in the paint against the zone. And I thought that was really critical once, once Missouri State settled into their zone and they were really trying to force us to take jumpers. Um, you mentioned Elmo and Williams, but they both had career highs tonight. I mean, what does that mean moving forward for those two upperclassmen? Well, they're um, a senior and a junior, and they've grown up in this system. They should have great confidence right now that they know what they're doing in our system and how our system works. Um, they're both good scorers, good shooters. I was really pleased to see Taylor Williams also get on the boards tonight. I was really si pleased to see Bria Elmore also take advantage of the dribble drive instead of just settling for the three all the time. And we saw her explode to the basket a couple times. And then finally, Cheyenne Creighton also had a really solid night, one rebound shy of a double-double. I mean, talk about how she contributed. She, she's got to be our go-to, and, and she doesn't like that role. She's uncomfortable in that role. But she, the last week, she's really come to just accept the fact that that is who she has to be and she'll get more comfortable with it as time goes by. She is a double-double every night, and we need her to really embrace that role. Congrats, Coach, on a big win. Thank you.